Hi guys and welcome to my quest guide on Song from the Depths. I'd recommend turning on game sounds for this quest as it helps to understand what's going on and what you should do. The only requirement for this quest is to be able to run past low level creatures. You may take a bit of damage so bring a bit of armour and some food, but potions and weapons are completely unnecessary for this because you won't be doing any real fighting. So to start the quest, head to the house south of the Rimmington house portal and talk to Lucille to begin the quest. She basically tells you that people have been falling asleep and not waking up. Eventually you'll be given the option to accept the quest, after which you will be given a restless sleep potion. Drink the potion and step outside the house. When you step outside you'll see a purple ghost called Wayland Soul. Follow the ghost as it walks around to the northeast of Rimmington and eventually you'll come to a cave. Enter the cave when you come to it. Once inside, make your way through to the other end. A haunting voice and the raptor will both talk to you. Feel free to ignore and spam through the dialogue at this point, as they don't really say anything useful. Once you've entered the next cave, the haunting voice will talk to you again. This time you'll want to pay attention, as she'll hint as to where to go next. She'll say, fly fish drift on the northern wind, and goldfish bask in the western sun. All this really means is go through the entrance to the north, and then the entrance to the west to find the next section of the cave. If you've gone in the right direction, the haunting voice should then give you the next directions. She'll say, from southward seas the catfish cries, and from the east the hammerheads drum. So this obviously means go through the south entrance and then the east entrance. The haunting voice will then give you a bit more story. Feel free to skip this and head straight on. Next you'll get a small cutscene with some more story. Feel free to skip through this again. Once you're out of the cutscene you'll get a progress bar across the top of your screen which reads, symbols discovered. All you have to do is walk around to the northeast and northwest corners of this room until you discover purple circles on the ground which will appear when you step over them. When you've discovered the two purple circles, head over to the doorway that appears on the eastern side of the room. Do the same again in the next room except this time there's three purple circles to find. These circles are located on the west side near the middle, the northwestern corner of the room and the east side near the middle. Once you've discovered all three, head through the doorway that appears to the southeast of the room. Once again, the haunted voice will give you more story, spam through it and head to the next room. This next room is a little bit more complicated than the previous ones, so pay attention to what the haunting voice is saying again. First you'll get a small cutscene. Once you're out of the cutscene, the haunting voice will eventually say, So I cried a tear, and the water extinguished the fire. Head towards the four parts in the room to the north, and pick up the burning sapling in the middle. Examine each pot to find the pot with water flowing over its surface, and click on that pot to plant the burning sapling in it. Then head to the door to the northeast of the room with the two waterfalls, and go through it. If you did this right, the haunting voice should then say, I gave it the breath of life, keeping its heart pumping and alive. Pick up the sapling from the pot you planted it in, and then plant it in the pot covered in living fungi. Then proceed through the southwestern door which is also covered in fungi. The haunting voice will then say, the soul was weak, so I gave it some energy I had, and allowed it to regrow. Take the sapling from the pot again, and plant it in the pot covered in ivy. Then proceed through the ivy door, which is to the west. The haunting voice should then say, the soul felt new growth and purpose, but needed time to become strong. Replant the sapling in the pot covered in cobwebs, and then head through the eastern door, which is also covered in cobwebs. Once you've done all of this, the haunting voice should then say, it was so powerful, so overwhelming. And this confirms that you've done it all correctly. Head over to the new tree branch bridge and head through the north door. A cutscene will then appear which shows people jumping off the edge of a large drop. When the cutscene ends, proceed to jump off the edge yourself, which will trigger a cutscene which shows you being swallowed by a huge creature. Inside the belly of the monster, the objective is to find each exit on the other side of each section. Ignore the monsters attacking you and try and avoid stepping in the green pools, as they'll do continuous damage to you until you step out of them. As you find your way through, you'll eventually come to another cutscene which shows a siren who's trapped. Spam through the dialogue options and get her to realise that she's inside a beast's belly, and offer to help her out. As you spam through the dialogue, your character will eventually pick up a crossbow and shoot the cyst that the siren is trapped in. You'll get another cutscene which shows you escaping from the creature, and you'll end up back at the entrance to the entire cave network. After a short conversation with the raptor outside the cave, find Lucille at the start of the quest and spam through some more dialogue to complete the quest. <laughs> Extra spin for the, win. the rewards include one quest point, 700 constitution experience, a coral crossbow which you'll be able to upgrade at Thurgo once the Queen Black Dragon is out and he is located south of Port Sarim near Mudskipper Point, 
You'll also receive 50 coral bolts which can only be used with the coral crossbow and they'll have a special effect on the Queen Black Dragon which is not yet known at the time that I'm making this guide. You'll also receive Remora's Necklace which has no stats but is simply used to teleport to the cave where the quest was situated and now contains various new Grot Worm Slayer monsters and bear in mind that this teleport can only be used once per day so use it sparingly. You'll also receive a passive damage reduction buff when fighting the Queen Black Dragon and finally you'll also receive two free spins on the Squeal of Fortune. That's it for this guide, if it's helped you then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe, otherwise I'll see you in the next video.